Hello friends and followers, welcome to another edition of our series, One Day of Poker. It's December the 8th, 2009, and a young man who is rapidly becoming an online legend takes a seat at the virtual tables to play a session against Brian Hastings. Railbirds clamour in the chat box, cheering on their newfound hero, a man who single-handedly devastated Tom Dwan's bankroll several months earlier. Isildur and Hastings have a bit of experience playing together, but only know a little about each other's game. As the cards are dealt for the first of what will be a 3,000 hand session, nobody watching realises that they are about to see the most catastrophic losing session on record. Isildur becomes the victim of a $4.1 million assassination as the worst online cash session in history unfolds. The Railbirds and online world are astounded by what they have just seen. In this session, Isildur clearly didn't run well, but Hastings had come more heavily armed than expected. Hastings undoubtedly feared that he may meet the same fate as Dwan if he sat opposite Isildur, so in order to swing the balance in his favour, Hastings devised a plan. Or rather, Hastings and his friends devised a plan. It all began when Brian Townsend used prohibited data mining software to gain access to hands that Isildur had played in the past. Players were not allowed to gather data from hands that they have not personally been involved in, but Townsend decided to do exactly this before bringing his findings to Hastings and fellow pro Cole South. He collected a total of over 50,000 hands on Isildur. The three of them then sat and dissected every tiny aspect of his game, formulating optimal strategies to combat his style of play, using the data they were not entitled to. After the session, Hastings penned a blog post to tell the world about his very special day. In his haste to tell the world every detail, Hastings let slip about the teamwork and data mining. A very public backlash followed. As Full Tilt launched an investigation into the matter, Many called for Isildur to be reimbursed, at least partially. But to the dismay of Isildur and his fans, Full Tilt eventually concluded that sharing strategy is acceptable, but that the illegal data mining should be punished. Brian Townsend was sentenced to a rather lenient looking one month ban, and Isildur was left with his bankroll decimated. This did not mark the end for the young prodigy though, as he slowly rebuilt in the following years. 2015 saw Isildur win $3.5 million at PokerStars cash tables, and while he dropped $1.3 million on full tilt that year, his comeback was complete. Isildur still plays online at the very highest stakes. Thanks for listening everyone. If you enjoyed our video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe.